eggs, rabbit, and mounds of chocolate. This Easter display has all the trappings of tradition with a twist. The rabbit is running through the field of, uh, of the Easter eggs, which are like coronavirus, and is running away from it. Yet the tortoise has won the race because it took uh, heed of how he should be. He stayed at home. This 65-pound Easter rendition of the tortoise and the hare fable, a reminder that slow and steady can win the race. Normally one of the largest chocolate-consuming holidays of the year, a lockdown has left Belgian chocolatiers going to extraordinary lengths to ensure their delicacies remain part of Easter tradition. Award-winning chocolatier Jerome Grimmenpon only allows one person to enter at a time and staff disinfect in between clients. This year I decided to make a collection about balloons, something very festive, very childlike, very colourful. On whether coronavirus was an influence, I didn't want to play the coronavirus card. It is already depressing enough the way it is. It's a sentiment shared by his customers, who say chocolate offers a sweet distraction from a life-altering pandemic. With Easter coming and people spending Easter at home, it's going to be a little weird this year. Chocolate will help us smile a little more than usual. I'd rather there was no coronavirus, but it always makes me happy to let the chocolate melt and to feel the different aromas in my mouth with a good little coffee on the side. It's long been proven that chocolate can reduce stress. Given the circumstances, a little overindulgence this Easter may be exactly what the Easter Bunny ordered.